Okay, tubers. I decided to try something a little bit of a challenge. And I'm going to film a bunch of videos and take you guys along the whole process. This is a piece of Brazilian soapstone that I got recently. And it looks like it's going to be really good. I don't see a lot of cracks. I don't see a lot of issues with it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to try to cut it as square as possible. And then I'm going to try to make a goblet out of it. As I go along, I'll keep you posted with the ideas that I have. And maybe with a little bit of uh, some of the comments will help determine what direction I go. But I'm looking at making it probably that tall, which is, and of course I don't have a tape measure around me, but I'm going to say five inches tall or so. But I will keep you guys posted as it comes along. And we will see what happens. Okay, I got that piece cut back. I had to do some adjusting, but it's going to be... Right now it's 2 and 3 eighths square by right at... I think it was like 4 and a half in length. And just to show you this is what I'm going to be using to do it. Sandpaper, a hand drill, a few bits, a hacksaw, a couple of hole saws, and some files. That's all I'm going to be using to be to do this. And I would be videoing this outside, but it's uh, about 25 degrees and the wind's blowing. But that's what I'm going to start with, that's my rough cut and we will see where this goes. I've already had to do one adjustment from the rough piece because I had a bad spot so hopefully I won't come across any more bad spots with this but it seems really good, it seems real solid I'll let you guys know how I go okay. welcome to a beautiful 20 degree, 25 degree Georgia. Here's my rock I found center on both sides. I've got the wedges that I need to cut out to get the stem because I'm going to have a stem and then I'm going to have a, a foot here and then up in here is going to be the the bowl. But just to prove that um, it is as cold as I say it is That's my bucket right there. I keep water in there for when I'm going to do the, the finished sanding of my works. But, um, yeah, it's frozen solid. Okay. I'll do this cut and I'll let you know. Okay, I've done a little bit more work. I've cut some wedges in there. That way you can definitely tell that that's going to be the base. That's going to be the top. I still have to cut these out. And I'll cut it. Cut that, that wedge. And I'll do all the wedges and that should leave me with a bit of a stem about that wide in the middle and that should be enough to support it on the top I've already used one of those hole saws to clear it out a bit that was just basically for weight because this stuff is pretty heavy so I drew me a, a hole that right there it's going to be knocked out and I'll have to round it but that's that I'm going to knock these wedges out and then I'll make another one